everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Blossom and this is page four and five and they're gonna be a mirror of each other so I think we're gonna work on these together. So I've got some of the papers trimmed out which I'm going to set aside um, so that we can get our flaps in. Okay, this is page five and here is page four. Okay, oh, I forgot to put my tape on. We'll do that real quick. Four and five are going to have these large flaps and they're going to open away from each other. This is six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight, score half inch on the six and a half inch side. And for page four, it's going to get installed on the left hand side. Page five on the right hand side. Okay, and then we're going to install one more flap uh, for each of them. One on the right, one on the left, and I think I need tape, yeah. And these are let's see, I'll tell you what the measurement is in just a second. Four and a half by four and a half by six and one eighth. So actually four and a half, it needs to be a little bit bigger than that. So these are trimmed down. Um, to fit the ephemera cards, and the ephemera card is not quite a four by six. It's slightly off. Graphic always does that. I think it's six and fifth, uh, five and fifteen sixteenths. So it's just a sixteenth inch shy of um, six and. Uh, sixteenth inch shy of four inches across, so it's just under that. So this winds up being not quite four and five eighths by six and one eight. So what I typically do is I trim it out. Uh, I over trim it. Um, so I did this uh, six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I actually put my card in and then trim it down to fit so that it's just right. Um, there's, you know, different ways you can do that. You can measure it out right the first time, um, but typically I tend to overestimate and then trim down the panel so that the card looks right. And I just think these are so pretty. And in fact, these journaling cards are so pretty, I am going to mount them this side up because I just really think they're very pretty. Okay, so now um, on page four, we're going to just center this. And I actually don't have, um, actually I'm, I'm thinking about this now. I might wanna do something off center. I'm gonna lay my papers in real quick um, so we can make a decision. So we're gonna have this pattern underneath. I have this here. And then we're going to have this uh, laid in on the flap, like so. So I just want to make a decision. Do I want these to be exactly even or do I want them offset? And then here is the card that's going to go on this side. And I think I'm liking them offset. So I think this one I'll do a rise and this one I'll drop down just a little bit. Okay. 
So, what does that really mean? What do you what do you think that means? Well, I think what it means to me is I'm going to come up an inch from the bottom and I'm using my grid here and install this flap. And then I'm going to Oops. That did not go on straight. Do an inch from the top on the other side. There we go. There it is, there it is. Okay, now for this one, we're gonna come down an inch. Let's set aside the designer papers. And we'll come down an inch from the top. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my grid to figure out where that is. some magnets. Two magnets here and two magnets here. Ooh, I got a cramp in my thumb. watching TV with me earlier and um, I guess her leg or her foot fell asleep. She woke up, she was limping. I was like, oh no, what's happening? I think she just slept on her leg funny because in a few seconds it was all resolved. <laughs> page five aside and we're going to put in the some of the main elements for page four I'm going to use my contrast paper isn't this gorgeous I just love this um, I like both sides but this just is so striking So that becomes really the focal point of this page, is this ephemera journaling card. And I would I would journal the events uh, on here. I think it, it's gonna look very lovely. Okay, so then um, here's the pattern that I've chosen for here. And as you can see, that looks very nice together. Um, I had to double check uh, orientation for some reason. These bearded irises are hard for me to get in right side up. I want to put them in upside down. I need my contrast. Lay that down again. Start over. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so now for, that's lovely. For the inside, I'm kind of going back and forth. I've, I trimmed this piece out to fit in its entirety on this side. And then I've got the strip uh, left over because this is a six inch panel and it was cut from an eight inch piece of cardstock, which I forgot to mention that this is from the eight by eight, so is this. Um, so I'm trying to decide uh, if I want to have this whole blue piece here or if I want to um, split it in half and have, have it framed out. Um, I'm gonna think about that while we go ahead and do the A sides of, um, actually, I, I am gonna definitely put this two inch strip right here. So the real question is, um, how am I covering the rest of it? So let's go ahead and lay down this two inch strip because I want that peeking out from under that six, uh, six inch flap there. Okay, so when you see it closed, there's your image, and I think it's really beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So it's a different ephemera card, but it's very complimentary as you can see. I don't know what I'm doing this, why I'm not using my contrast. It's uh, evening and my eyes just get more and I have a harder and harder time focusing as the day goes on. And this black on black is hard to see. Um, okay, there we go. That's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this piece. And I am gonna put my contrast in and start that way. <laughs> this goes right here. And it's inked and ready to go. And again, uh, the pattern paper is from the 8x8 collection pack. And of course the journal card is from the journal pack. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell fatigue is setting in. Dropping things. Okay, and now I have um, my two inch strip, which is gonna go right here. And again, from the eight by eight, oh, it's not inked. From the eight by eight pack. The ink is starting to dry out. It's almost time for a new pad. What I've noticed with these um, powder puffs too is um, if you use them heavily um, in a short period of time, they feel like they dry out. If you set them with the pad down um, and just come back to them in a month, it's like they're juicy again. I, I don't really understand it, but it seems to, to help. Um, so I'll usually open a new one, set aside the one I'm using, and then rotate back and forth until I feel, feel like it's, it's really too dry. Or um, sometimes what will happen is um, the sponge will start to give a little and leave tracks there, or little pieces of the sponge will come off. And I don't like that because <laughs> it can mar your papers. Um, okay, so there is, oh, you know what? I didn't even think about this. I should have done a half inch down because this is a six inch card on an eight inch piece of paper, which means if I go an inch down, it is centered. That's okay, I still like it, but I had intended for it to be offset a little. <laughs> oh well, you live and learn. I wasn't thinking about the size of the card itself. So coming an inch up or an inch down, you're gonna wind up with it centered. So if you wanna change that, feel free. That was originally my intent. I wanted them to be offset slightly. Anyways, I still think it looks good. 
I really like these cards. So now, um, when we trim down this piece of paper on both sides, we wound up with this scrap, the scrap piece that we are gonna figure out how to incorporate on the inside. So I'm gonna set one inside here and then one inside here. And then we also have um, this piece of paper that I trimmed down to fit on the B side of the large flap. But I really, I'm not sure that's what I wanna do. I'm thinking I might wanna split it um, I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these either, so I'm gonna set this aside for now. I mean, that's one of the things we could do. We could trim this out to fit here, and then we'd have a strip to use over here. And I kinda of like that. So, did we just decide? I think we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this piece down first, because it's the smaller of the two. And then I'll trim the larger piece to fit what's left. And then whatever we don't use here, we'll, we'll spread over to the other side. I love color blocking. It does take time, but I love it. I think it just, you can add so, so much interest with just the paper layout, you know, not with the um, complexity of the flaps per se. Okay, looks like I need to trim it about right there, and that's double check. Now, I've mentioned this before, but when you're color blocking, if you don't get every single piece in straight, it means that one of these might wind up being a little bit wonky. And the way to recover from that is by marking on both sides. So when you put it in the trimmer, you trim to the marking. So I don't place this flush at the top. I actually just line up my tick marks with the cut edge of my trimmer. So if it needs to be at a slight angle, I can achieve that. And then visually, it'll look like everything is completely straight with right angles. And this is the time consuming part of it, is the checking, the measuring, the checking, the measuring. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay, so this was, turn it right, right side up again. This is the, the single piece that I had originally planned just to go here. And then I decided I like this color blocking, so I've trimmed this out to fit right here, and that leaves us with a two inch strip to place over here, or here. Um, so we'll still need to cover what looks like uh, four inches of, we'll need something that's four inches wide. So guess what I happen to have from the eight by eight pack? I still have a full sheet of the same pattern. So I could actually split this in half and put four inches here and four inches on the other page. So I think that's gonna work out fine for us. Let's go ahead and glue this down. And then we're just gonna repeat this process. I was kind of reserving that because I wasn't sure if I was gonna use any of the cut aparts from the eight by eight pack, um, but some of them are kind of small. So I still have the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 I can use as embellishments. I know I said it, but I'll say it again. These are all from the eight by eight collection pack. Okay, and as usual, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down the smaller of the two pieces. This is gonna be the larger piece, and then we will trim out uh, based on this location. Did I hear you? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this aside and then do the other page, and then we're gonna find, uh, we're gonna decide what we're doing here. I think I'm gonna add that pattern again, but it's our chance to make that decision. And then I still have to find something to back the um, ephemera card with.
there we go. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's four inches. Let's double, no, it's less. It's three, three and three quarters. So yeah, if I decide to, to use this, I've got plenty. Okay. We're gonna lay this in and then we're gonna measure this piece. It's coming along. Okay, now I'm going to turn it sideways so I can get this marked off. Seems really crooked. I must have got this in very crooked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So I trimmed this, and you can see, oh, it's not very easy to see, is it? It's off by about a sixteenth of an inch because this, this didn't go in straight. So it makes a huge difference. Um, but because I marked both sides, I'm going to glue it in, and you will not see it. But I am going to have to straighten this piece out. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to, because I can. All right. My goodness. Making a mess, making a mess. Okay. Now, because it is crooked, I have to make sure I put it in the way I marked it. And I think this is it. It is. Just like downtown. Okay, we're in. Okay, so now this is off just a little bit. I'm gonna to try to square that up. It's gonna bother me. Actually. Let me see if I can just mark it. Okay. see how I did. Ta-da! I did it. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> okay, now I did trim a little, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that uh, white core off. There we go. We're going to get this in. Lovely, lovely. Oh, look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Okay, I think I am going to go ahead and put this in here. That's going to just be a beautiful spread. So I'm going to trim this down real quick. Get it down to the right height first and then figure out where to... Where to cut.
Well, I did that thing where I marked it with the pattern upside down, so I'm gonna start over. In theory, it, no, it won't. It won't be the same. Or will it? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. A flank, a flank, a flank. Okay. Let's see, how did we do? Well, it looks really good, but it's gonna be, I think, a little too, t well, maybe not. I'm worried about it being too close to the hinge. That's weird. So why do I care if it's too close to the hinge? Well, what happens if um, this edge of the paper gets hung up in the, um, the hinge? It will cause the paper to buckle and want to lift. And I think it's gonna be okay, but it does look like it's a little too tall. I gotta pay attention or I'll do something stupid like put this in upside down. I don't know what it is with this iris, but I have a hard time with it. Okay, let's double check one more time. And everything looks good. Let's get some glue and get it down. try to pull in a green, uh, pick up one of the greens here and pull that in. Oh, lovely, lovely. Okay, we just got to repeat that process. No, we don't. We already, oh, yes, we do. Okay, get this trimmed out. Right height. Yeah. Yes, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Okay, so now we need to cover the back side of both of these ephemera flaps. And I don't know what I'm gonna use. I got a roughly four by six, right? to do something green. Let's see. Do I have any? Let's see. What do we think? How about a floral green? How about that? Mm. What do we like? The stripe? And of course we can do a solid green.
What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Okay, I think I like this better. So we are going to go with the stripes. Yep. I'm not sure which side, but I like the purple. I think I like the solid, so that's what we're gonna do. This will make a nice little photo mat. Three by five photo, and then you'll have a beautiful purple mat around it. And then, of course, um, because we did this color block and you get these beautiful um, images in the back, you know, that kind of break it up from having just this one solid pattern. So that's four by six. I think that looks awesome. So good, good. Happy, happy. Oops, I, I thought I trimmed these right, but uh, I did not. Oh, because I was trimming it for the flap size. I need to trim it down. I did that wrong. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Duh. Ding dong. Now that should fit. I had in my mind that it needed to be bigger than the ephemera card, but uh, it, only the black flap has to be. So I don't know what it's time. It's time to hang it up for the night because I'm not thinking clearly. But I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna go run and upload it. And be done with it. All right. Oh, that reminds me. My mother-in-law sent me a text. She's a scrapper too, a crafter, a card maker, extraordinaire. She's really nice, she makes really nice cards. She's a Stampin' Up uh, demonstrator. I was gonna say distributor, demonstrator. And she does some amazing stuff. Anyway, she sent me an email asking me a question about the glue tip and because my glue tip came off in its entirety instead of just a white cap. Um, that's usually an indication I need to clean my my glue tip. Um, but anyway, she had a question about it and I forgot to get back to her. So that was just my stream of consciousness. You're welcome. <laughs> this needs to be turned still. Okay guys, we're winding down. So I'm gonna give you my little spiel. Thanks for spending time with us over here at Scrap and Create. Um, we appreciate you guys viewing. And if you are so inclined, visit our shop at www.scrapandcreate.com where you can find um, the designer papers that I feature in the albums that I create. Um, we would love to have you over there. We also have a Facebook group um, where we encourage viewers and shoppers to share their projects. Um, with other like-minded folks and um, we're really growing over there. So it's, a, it's an interesting group. You get some new ideas. Um, we'd love to have you over there. So thanks again for stopping by and spending time with us here on our channel at Scrap and Create. 
I'll be back soon and we will continue working on Blossom, but that's it for today. Thanks. Bye-bye.